Welcome to the Turnity Token Migration Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to send some ERC20A tokens to our token migration web application smart contract from the Ledger Nano S um, using Mitha Wallet. And then we're going to receive the same tokens um, on the Eternity blockchain again on the Ledger Nano S. So we have prepared the landing page which you can see on my screen to help guide you through the process. On this page you can see how many tokens have been migrated so far. The steps which you need to go through to complete the migration as well as the migration roadmap. At the bottom of the page we have the answers to the most frequently asked questions. And in the footer we have a link to our forum where you can ask any questions if you encounter any issues or you're just not sure what to do, uh, just click here and we'll be happy to help you. Um, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have installed um, the Eternity application on the um, ledger. And this happens to the Ledger Live application. I have connected my ledger to uh, Ledger Live and have opened the Manager tab, which is where you install all the applications. To install the Eternity app, you want to um, find it, typing AE, and then hit Install. I have already done this, so I don't need to do it again. Um, one other thing is that we recommend that you have the Ledger updated to the latest firmware. Uh, this is done also um, here. You can see at the time of the making of this tutorial, the current Ledger firmware version is 1.5.5. Um, when you have the application installed, you can come back to the token um, migration landing page, tap the start migration button, and you will be inside the token migration web application. Uh, like I said earlier, in this tutorial, we're going to use the ledger. So here on the screen, I'm prompted to select an account uh, where the tokens of the Eternity blockchain will appear. I'm going to use the ledger wallet. So I'm hitting get started under ledger wallet. Um, and on the next screen, you can see um, the requirement uh, which I just spoke about to have the Ledger Live application installed. Uh, make sure you do that and you make sure you um, have everything set up correctly, including the firmware update. Um, again, we're prompted um, after you have done so to select um, the account. We select Ledger Live, and then the next thing we want to do is make sure that we're inside the Eternity application on the Ledger. Like I said before, I already have the Ledger connected to my laptop, so make sure you do the same. You plug it into the USB port, uh, enter your PIN, and once you're in the Ledger dashboard, you want to navigate to the Eternity application and tap both buttons or uh, press both buttons on the Ledger. Uh, when you see the Eternity logo and now you're inside the Eternity application on the ledger and hit continue on this screen. In the next screen, you're prompted to confirm the ledger address. Um, what you're going to do is look at the one on the um, computer screen, hit compare address and an address will pop up on the ledger device screen. Uh, you want to confirm that it's the same address once that's the case press the right button on the ledger. And in this view, we are prompted to select where the ERC 28 tokens will be sent from. In this tutorial, we're doing this from my the wallet. So I'm going to hit proceed with view. And here I am asked to enter the amount that I would like to migrate from the ledger to um, from my ledger and my the wallet to um, the Eternity token migration smart contract. So I'm going to type 0 0.1 and I am asked to um, confirm that I agree to the terms of services. I have already read them, so I'm not going to read them again, but you should read them if you have not read them. Tap the I agree button and 
hit start migration on my wallet. Here I'm prompted to understand something very important. Um, the migration in my wallet is prepared by the token migration web application, so you don't need to change anything once you get to my wallet. So make sure you leave everything as is. Um, we have another screen which explains what each field is. Um, and again, the, the amount to send should be left to zero. This is not the A amount um, uh, that you want to send. It's something else. So uh, once you understand everything uh, and you're clear that you don't need to change any of this information, my the wallet, you can select migrate on my the wallet. Um, at this point, you want to make sure that you're um, inside the uh, Ethereum application on the ledger. So um, select that on your ledger device and double uh, or press both uh, buttons on the ledger. And then select ledger wallet on the left side and hit connect to ledger wallet. On the next screen, you'll be prompted to select um, which um, token and which account to transfer from. So I have ETH selected, it's this uh, radio button in the top middle. And then here I'm going to select the first account which I created previously. This is why I'm holding my ERC-20 ETH tokens. And then tap unlock your wallet. On the next screen, I can review um, the information related to um, to the transaction, and then I can see my ERC twenty A token balance here in the bottom right. And now um, I'm happy with everything, so I'm going to hit generate transaction. Um, at this point, on the ledger device itself, I'm prompted to confirm. Um, the address and some of the other information. So I'm going to uh, press the right button on the ledger device. And the transaction has been generated. At this point, I can hit send transaction. And I'm again prompted to uh, review the information before I um, confirm that everything looks good. So I'm happy with everything. And I'm going to press, yes, I'm sure make transaction. At this point, the transaction has been broadcast to the Ethereum network, which means that um, it has been sent to the Eternity Token Migration smart contract. Um, what I want to do next is um, have a look at the transaction status. Um, the transaction is still pending on the Ethereum network, so what I want to make sure is that um, once um, the transaction has some confirmations, it appears in the success screen on the token migration web application. Um, and I can already see that. We have one block confirmation. And this means that um, when I come back to the token migration web application, I can hit check migrations and I'm going to see the success screen where I can see all the migrations that I have completed to date um, to the address in my ledger. Um, the amount at the top is the total A I have migrated. And then after that, we have each transaction I have completed. The last one that we did together is the one at the top. Um, you can see it's from Monday, February 4, 2019. Um, and uh, I have all the other ones below. We're currently in token migration phase one. So these are all the ones that I have done in all the token migrations I've completed to this address in phase one. And in phase zero, I have not done any. Um, to save this information, I can bookmark the page. This will save the address which I'm um, checking the migrations for. Um, the address is this last part of the URL string. Um, 
and I can also save this information as a PDF. Um, alternatively, I could just take a copy of the address that um, I send the tokens to and then um, open the page without it. This prompts me to enter the address manually. It's saved in the cache of the browser, so I can do that. Uh, if you're doing it on another computer, you won't have it, so you could just uh, either save um, the last page as a PDF, you could bookmark the whole URL, or you could bookmark just this part of the URL, then enter the address manually and hit check migrations. Uh, for your convenience, we have um, a link to this migration status page here in the top right of the uh, landing page. And again, you have all the information you need here. So if you have any questions about this process, um, feel free to contact us at the forum link, which I showed you here at the bottom right, uh, and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Thank you and bye.